In part 1 of this video, we looked at multiplying radicals of mixed index by getting a common index on both so they could be combined. In this problem, you'll see we have the numbers 4 and 8, which don't have the exponents that we're used to working with. Instead, it might be more beneficial to rewrite those in their prime factorization form. We now have the third root of 4, which factors to 2 squared, x squared y. And we also have a fifth root of 8, which factors to 2 cubed, x to the fourth, y squared. Now that the whole problem has exponents, we can use our exponent properties in order to simplify this expression. Looking at our index, 3 and 5, the common index is going to be 15. We get that 15 by multiplying the 3 by 5, and the 5 by 3, so they both now have an index of 15 over the entire thing. As usual, we will also multiply the exponents in each radical by the same thing the index was multiplied by. On the 2, we have 5 times 2, or 10, x to the 5 times 2, or 10, y to the 5th. Similarly, on the other radical, multiplying by 3, we have 2 to the 3 times 3, or 9, x to the 3 times 4, or 12, y to the th 2 times 3, which is 6. <laughs> we can now look at combining these together under a 15th root. We can still use our exponent properties on the 2's, just like before, by keeping the base the same and adding the exponents of 10 and 9, telling us we have 19 2's under this radical. Similarly, we can add the exponents on the x's, 10 plus 12 is 22. We can also add the exponents on the y's, 5 plus 6 is 11. However, you may notice that several of our exponents are higher than the index. We can simplify these using much the same method that we have before, of dividing the exponent by the index. Dividing 19 by 15 gives us 1, 2 coming out, and the remainder of 2 to the 4th, because 15 goes into 19 once, with a remainder of 4. Similarly, we can divide the exponent of 22 by 15, giving us 1x coming out, and 7x is left behind. The y to the 11th cannot be divided by 15, because the 11 is smaller, and none come out, and we have a remainder of 11. This means, outside the radical, we have a 2x, and inside the 15th root, we're left with 2 to the 4th, which is 16, x to the 7th, y, to the 11th. This becomes our final solution. We can multiply radicals of mixed index by getting a common index, multiplying the index and the exponents by the same thing, and simplifying.